Hello guys, welcome to today's session. So I'll be teaching you on how you can create an evergreen book and publish on Amazon. So there are the steps on how you can write and publish an evergreen book on Amazon. First of all, you need to put out your topic on what you want to write about. Secondly, research on the topic to get more information. After gathering those information from your research, then you start editing your work um, that is example paraphrasing headings editing the contents of your work so i would start with um, putting out your topic so down here you can see my topic how to dominate your partner in bed and um, i would now do a research on this particular topic in order to get more content on um, the topic itself just to get more um, write-ups about this topic because I have few of mine but then I just need to do another research in order to get lots and lots and lots of other things to add to what I have on my own end so after I'm having to put out your topic you just go out um, to uh, Google so once I put out this topic now the next thing I have to do is to research on the topic to get more information is to research on the topic to get more information so what i'll be doing next is to go to my so i just type out here chapter one so once i type that out i now go to google so once i'm in google i will put in the topic how to um dominate your partner in bed i will just put that topic out here and um see what it will send to me and so once I start my research, I put it on, you see lots of um, ideas, lots of content on Google. So what I'll do next is open these, open um, each of them just to get more, um, you know, content from more, more content. So I will just open any of them. I could open, um, I would open this one at first. So you see how to be dominant in bed, even if you're nervous and um, unconfident. So once I've gotten that, what I need to do next is go down and look at what is being written here. Many people believe that being dominant, yes, it's kind of rhyming with the topic of our uh, of our book. So it's it's nice to copy this. So what I will do next is I will just copy what is here. Once I've gone through these and it's um, actually okay by me. So what I'll do next is copy it. I will start by copying. So once I copy, I would go back to my word. So once I've copied this, I will now go back to the document where I typed in um, chapter one and I will paste. I would go back again to Google and then I will continue from where I stopped. So it's not one giant leap. I would copy this too as well. So I would you just don't copy anything. Copy what is relevant to the topic you want to write about. So here now I would copy the as I'm looking at this is no one giant leap. So I would read what this is about. And once I have gotten the hang of it, I would just have to copy what is being written here. So I'll be copying this. So I'll just read through what's being written here and just keep on reading to see um, that this is okay. So I'm just reading now to make sure that the content I want to take out from here is what I would really need in my, you know, in what I'm, I'll be writing about. So I'll just copy these. I'll copy it to here. Then once I copy this, I would go back to my document. I will paste it. Then I'll still go back and um, you know scroll down. So if you want to your book to be fun, you can add questions to it where um, you know the reader would just have to put in fill in some checks and um, answer some questions while reading the book. You know, but then I don't want that, so I'm just going to go over to this and then I'll copy this. I'll copy down to here 
And once I've gotten these, I'll go back and then I will paste. I'll still go back and so you, you might not need to get all your content from here. So as you're copying from here, you can check in another, um, you know, another um, headline or another site and copy from there. Then I'll just come here, you know, just compose different um, many. Now, once you've posted that to check in your topic and know that your topic is going to be a um, one that will sell. Uh, one that would be nice for uh, one that's trending in the market. So what you can do is just type in Amazon non-fiction bestseller. So once you've typed in that, um, click on this. You can click on any one of them, right? So once you've clicked on that, you see a search, um, a search bar up here. So just follow through with this process. So I will just go and um, up there to my search bar. Well, you don't need to go through all this process. You could just type in um, Amazon.com, but then just follow through with what I'm doing and then um, go up to this search bar, put in your topic. Now, let's just start with love. Now, I put in um, love. You see books that have been written related to love. What I love about you, ugly love. Then you just scroll down. You see... Um, most of them having um, these reviews, so it's really a good niche to write about. Love is and it's one of the best niche to write about on Amazon. Then I will now come and put how to save your dying relationship. So all these are just encompassing or circling around um, relationship. So I would open these. You will see these are books written on how to save your dying relationship. So once you look at these, you see that it's also a good, um, it's also a good topic to write about. But then, what's going to attract people to your book is your cover and your title. Your title and your cover would attract people to your book. So here, I'll just um, go back up. It's a good niche to write about how to save your dying relationship. So then, I would go to the top and um, put in our own topic how to dominate so i will just copy the, the topic of the book we want to write about or the evergreen book we want to write about and then i'll just come here and put so you see how to dominate your partner in bed if you go through you won't see many books written on that but then you see things related to that so that would cause us to change our topic so what we are going to do here now is search for something that is how to dominate your partner. So we'll just search for a topic that um or dominating. Let's just see. Let's go with this. So I'll just try um dominating in bed. Now you see these um different um you see these different um, books that have been written about um, dominate, dominating, right? So now what we would do is once you're looking at these, try to build your topic around these books. Try to build your topic, but don't make it um, uh, too, uh, you know, uh, likely what is here. So try to build your topic in a catchy way that is around these books. So you can see these, um, how to dominate um, women in bed, the art of dominating in bed, the perfect status guide. So once you, you are here, um, what you now do is, um, I personally would go back and review my topic. But towards the end of this class, I will tell you the topic which I have come up with. So once you've gotten all these, now what you have to do next is to edit your article is to edit the the content you've gotten from um the site so what i'll be doing is um you go to your browser go to grammarly so once you go to the browser type in grammarly.com and this would open so what you do next is um upload or oh, sorry just click on new so once you click on new this would pop up so what you now have to do is go to your browser and copy, um, go to your Word document, copy the 
text and the contents you pasted there copy all of them come here and paste it now once you paste it it's going to give you some corrections to make now once you don't just go ahead and do the correction so once you look at the correction and it rhymes with what is going it with what is there you can now um, proceed to correct it but once it's not going along with that you just let what you had to be so you just start correcting the, the grammar the grammar errors so just keep on um, doing that correct you just click to just show you the things to correct so i would keep on correcting to the end so just keep on doing this till you are done with it You see, I still have 38 more to correct. So I will still be, I think it gave me about 40 something um, places to correct um, articles. So what I will do is I will just have to correct all of these until I'm done. So looking at that, you just have to look at some things. Once you look at it, when you're seeing has been completed so it it goes but a follow-up call the next so it goes once you read through and it goes with what's there you just allow it to be you just correct but once the the what they're asking you to correct is not rhyming with your words there don't um don't do anything you can just delete you see the delete button down there you can just click on it it will, it will not um make any correction to it so we continue with the issue this is telling me nominate but that's not what i want so i'm going to delete that it won't make any changes to it so i move to the next one so i continue Let's go ahead. I don't want that, so I'll just delete. I have 15 more corrections to make, so I'll just keep on doing that. So, keep on doing that. You just copy what the articles, once you've gotten enough um, words, like for me, I, I usually I want to make my words like up to about 20,000 words or 26 to 30,000 words before um, making corrections so once you've gotten up to 20 something thousand words because that would at least give you enough pages that would produce enough pages for your book so once i've gotten up to that i would now come and make corrections yeah i'll just copy what everything i've gotten come and paste it on grammarly it will make the necessary corrections so i'll just um keep on correcting i have just three left so after your corrections I'm going to be showing you what to do in the next video. I will show you how to go about editing. Now, this is the first part of the editing. Now, what else you need to do is paraphrase and um, and um, put in your work together. So once I've finished correcting, I'll just copy all of them, come back to my Word document and, um, you know, paste them, paste um, it on the new page. Now, once I've pasted that, I now have to start um the main editing now this is where the real work is just go to your um, browser type in google.doc.com google.doc now once that opens now once this has opened i'll just tap on the first one now if you are not signed in you signed in you go to docs then you sign in once you've signed in you go to blank now once you create blank you see this large page but now this is not the format we want to use we want to make our book in 5.5 by 8.5 so go to file once you see that you scroll down you see page setup now once you see page setup go to statement which is 5.5 by 8.5 now once you've done that you click on it so click on the 5.5 by 8.5 then that is all you need then okay now you've seen that the the shape or the 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 size of your page has been has been reduced so this is what we want to use 
Now what you do is give three um, pages. Keep three pages, one, two, three page. Now your book, you start writing it from the fourth page. Now you start writing your book from the fourth page. So now copy from your um, Word document. Now copy from here, copy your articles from here. Once you've copied all of these, now go back to, now I want to edit, I want to start editing. So what I will do is, I would copy this um, section of the document and I will now come to my browser. Now go to www.twillbot.com. Twillbot, -E now it will open this. Now once this open, this is going to paraphrase the whole um, text I have there. So it won't be reflecting as if I copied um, anybody's work. So here, what you now do is paste what you've copied. Now, um, if you are using the premium um, version, it's going to give you at least 2,000 words. So those 2,000 words, at least, um, it will fasten up your word. But if you're not using the premium version, it will just be restricted to 125 words. So that will take your time editing. But yeah, I want to use the free version. Let's um, see how I'm going to do it. So once you edit, you just um press the it will edit once it has edited you copy the the um words it has paraphrased then go to your google doc and paste it so just follow um what i'm doing here go back to your word now from where i stopped i would copy from the next part another 125 words once i copy another 125 i'll still go back to toolbot now, once I go to Quillbot, I'll paste it here. Again, I'll delete this. Then I will paste and I'll paraphrase. Now, once I paraphrase, it's going to um, paraphrase the whole text. Sometimes it will give me, um, like here you see 122 words. It can give me up to 130, 140 words. Sometimes it will give me less. But nevertheless, once it has finished paraphrasing, you can keep on paraphrasing until it gives you more. I would copy this. Now, once I copy that, I would come back here and I'll paste. So you keep on repeating the same process. You keep on repeating the same process until you are done paraphrasing your work. So just keep on going and going and going. Just keep on. Okay, sorry, don't say. So you go back to your word. Copy the next hundred and twenty-five. Once you've copied these, you still go back to your Quillboard, you know, the same process, go to Quillboard, um, paste it. Now, once you paste it, you paraphrase. Once you paraphrase, you copy from here. Now, once you paraphrase, you copy, you go back to your Google Doc, and then you, you paste it. So, that's just the process you'll be doing till you have finally, um, completed the uh, paraphrasing for the whole word you have on your Google on your word document so until you finish paraphrasing all those words now if you're using the the premium version I think it's it's about it's around one dollar I think ten dollars I think so if you're using the premium version this would have been done in few minutes it shouldn't take you much time as this so once you you copy this and once you are done with all this, you just go to quill, but just the same process as what I'm doing here. So once you press that, you now copy um for the ones that didn't enter, you now copy, you paraphrase, cut it out, you paraphrase, once you paraphrase the word, you copy what what's been given to you. So I would copy this. So now I'll paraphrase the new one. I'll go back to my Google document and then I will paste. So the that's just the process you have to do to it. You are done with the assuming you, you had um twenty thousand words, so you had twenty five thousand words. So those twenty five thousand words you get. Once you are done paraphrasing the whole twenty five thousand words you had on your Word document to um to QuickBots to your Google document. 
now you will now go back to after all this paraphrasing you still need to do much work on your um on your google docs so once this is done with once you're done with all this sorry i want to i'll be cutting short here so we won't have to take much of the time so so once you are done paraphrasing the next thing would be um looking at is how you're going to edit the your words your um, document in um google doc so how you are going to thoroughly edit your work so um kindly watch the next video and um then um leave a comment and um you'd know how you're going to edit your work and post thanks